What up, party people? This is Sarah for no matter whatever. Um, this video is going to be kind of more of like a lifestyle video, but um, I was same as an apartment or living in this van, um, anywhere. Um, I party hard, so I try to keep my food healthy and in check and keep drinking water. But um, I went to my favorite store. Um, I don't know if they're indigenous to the northwest, but um. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Um, yeah, it's my favorite store. You can get a lot of healthy stuff on the cheap. So I'll kind of show you what I got for my grocery haul and what I'm doing with it to stay peachy keen. Well, I did for um, breakfast and snacks these fruit cups that have raspberry, kiwi, and pineapple in them. And those are all pretty spindy fruit. But if you add up the cost of the pineapple, the kiwi, and the raspberries, which you could even go cheaper and do like apples and oranges, and that would have been less expensive, but um, I choose to spend my money on healthy food. But um, for the cups, roughly with everything, uh, it was $1.17 a cup, which really isn't that bad for six breakfasts for $1.17. You'll pay that even at Fred Meyer for a fruit cup like that. I'd end up paying about, I don't know, probably about two fifty three bucks. So that saves like half of that so that's one of my snack and breakfast or dessert options I just kind of pack those in the fridge on to the next all right also for breakfast that kind of goes along and this is actually even spindier because you wouldn't have to put the hemp seeds in it um, I just am for health reasons but six things of oatmeal was a dollar forty nine and the other half of the raspberries not the fruit cups and that even all together with the hemp seed because this was on sale for four ninety nine um, it would be a dollar twenty nine per serving, but if you bought, we actually have this kind of stuff in Portland. But if you went to like um, one of the, uh, if you um, did go to something like a food cart we have here for that kind of thing, you'd be paying like four ninety nine with the hemp seeds and the fresh fruit in it. So buck twenty five is not bad. And um, I just do the hemp seeds like I'm just reading right off the package. But um, three tablespoons has nine grams of omega six. Um, three grams of omega three, plus saturated fat acids. One point like, and it has a bunch of vitamins. It has like vitamin, as iron, thiamine, magnesium, phosphorus. It just has a lot of things I don't usually get. Um, I don't take a bunch of vitamins. I try to just kind of use food as my vitamins. But um, so yeah, buck twenty five for a really healthy breakfast option. Not bad and. And instead of getting coffee, I'm at a place and paying four bucks for a latte or whatever. I have this Tazo Chai Pumpkin Spice Latte. And yes, it was 99 cents because it's not in season. But it's not bad, as you can see, until September 2015. And I got some cashew milk to go with that. So for that, um, it's pretty caffeinated as tea goes. Um, black tea I'm trying to do less coffee but so for the price of one latte like three forty nine, and I can use the milk for other stuff not just for that um I have um that I don't know I think that makes about five five drinks I don't drink a ton of it but I got um I just stocked up when I see deals like that like 99 cents till September so I bought three boxes for three bucks and I'm set on my morning caffeinated drink for probably all month for like four bucks all together so if I find any big deals like that, I just kind of stock up. And I know rooms are like um, a restriction in a van, but I get a little creative. I mean, I don't buy anything extravagantly huge, but I find room for stuff like that. All right, now I'm making like my little snack packs. Like uh, I have dill Havarti cheese. It's my favorite. And summer sausage is not healthy for you, but I this is the only meat I bought. The whole time I was shopping and then I make these like snack packs up I try not to eat a lot of bread or um I'm not like against it I eat some bread but I try to just kind of like get you know the main stuff but I have like Clausen's bread and butter pickles are my favorite and Del Havarti and that and I make up snack packs out of that for the alrighty so I got all of those made up all right and I'm calling the snack packs but honestly like um I'll put some there, it's a meal. Like it'd be like eating a sandwich without the bread. Like it fills me up. It's cheese and meat sit heavy with me because I do a lot of fruit and veggies, so I don't eat a lot of them. But like I'll just sit down, and, like dip that in like Dijon mustard, or um, 
I'm kind of like a sauce whore. Like, I like to have, like, six different dipping sauces, and I don't even care what I'm dipping in it. It could be, like, broccoli. I'm just, like, I'm all about the variety. Um, but, yeah, that was, a. Uh, it was five bucks. It was two fifty for the summer sausage, two fifty for the cheese, and two bucks for the pickles. So it was like seven bucks, and I got five like meals out of it essentially. And I still have half the sausage that I'm gonna put in my soup. And for dinner option, um, I'm gonna do a. It's gonna be in my small crock pot about two batches. So it'll be like four to six servings of soup, but. This was a buck ninety nine for the organic rainbow chard. Um, it's the rest of the summer sausage. I'm gonna throw in for some smoky meat flavor. Thai tomato coconut um, is the base. I'm gonna cut it with some chicken broth so it's thinner. But that was ninety nine cents, fifty cents, and I happen to already have the black beans. So what are you looking at? Like four dollars for well, I don't, like four or five dollars for like six servings of soup. And it's going to be bomb soup. It's not going to be ghetto soup. I'm excited. Oh, these guys are going to live in my soup too. For a snacky thing just on the go, two forty nine for six apples. The avocados were $0.50 cents a piece. I always keep those on hand because I'll eat those for a meal. They're just really good for you. And then lemons were $0.69 cents each. I cut them in half and juice half a lemon in a bottle of 20-ounce water. Drink that for breakfast tomatoes for salad and um for salad too i eat a lot of salad and i get really bored but i get like dried cranberries and like um honey soy like cashews and this isn't all stuff i bought today but i keep like a lot of like pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds i go to winco in bulk and get them and um that's how i keep myself eating salad every day and i do um i'll see if i get to it tonight i get a bunch of seeds and cranberries so i can like have different types of salad. I have like a tahini lemon dressing and I'm a sucker for lighthouse blue cheese. Um, and then I'll show you if I get to it tonight. It's getting a little late, but if I make up a vinaigrette, I do that too just because it's good for you and it's pretty easy to make. I don't even follow a recipe. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. All right, for the rest of the goods I got, um, I love these when I get them, when I find them on sale for buck ninety nine, they're dolmas, they're grape leaves stuffed with rice, like Greek style. Um, this brand's really good. They don't get dried out and they don't have that weird tomato in them and they have like, um, real lemon peels and garlic. Um, I do cauliflower. My secret to success is everything has to be in Ziplocs where I can just grab it and go. Um, kale chips, um, curry. I usually don't buy those because they're like six bucks a bag, but they were a buck ninety nine and I just wanted to try them. Uh, they're pretty stinking good, really good for you. If I get snacky, so I don't eat chips. Um, this is like my version of a frozen pizza. It's an Amy's burrito. Still relatively good ingredients, but if I'm just feeling like whatever, pop that in the microwave. Cilantro avocado hummus to go with um, the cauliflower. And this is like a, it was two bucks. Two bucks, the cauliflower bag was 99 cents. Um, if I didn't say those are buck ninety nine each, and there's enough for two meals if you want it, I usually just eat the whole thing. I got these just because they were two for a dollar, and they're good. Um, um, these were both fifty cents each, just um, to get a little bit of calcium. I don't like milk very much. I have that cheese, and then for my bad kid thing, still isn't two eggs. It's Greek yogurt, but it's banana and peanut butter, which is super good. Alright, well that's kind of a gist. I don't want to make this movie too long and drawn out, but I'm including everything I got made, plus I got um, 48 bottles of water, because I don't drink water out of my uh, tap, and I don't really have room for a Brita, and I don't, I drive around quite often because I park at practice, so even when those Britas you can fill up on your own, it just is easier for me personally to get bottled water so I can grab it on the go and it keeps me drinking water. Um, but so yeah, I have, I have enough food that will last me two weeks easy because I have the stuff I, not only did I buy what I would need now, but I like back stock stuff that I'll use later. And then, um, so I spent $70, which I know seems like a lot for two weeks. That's like five bucks a day, but that's including my coffee drinks, my snacks. I bought some things that were like toiletries on that. Um, 
my water for the day and like eating healthy and good and you could go to grocery outlet or any like I do that or there's like a produce market and definitely eat different types of food for cheap I just got high-end organic um I got snob food but that's how I like to eat I feel better and that's worth it to me because um there's things I do that are unhealthy I'm drinking and I try to exercise more often Oh, I bought one of those. Oh, I'll show you. It's actually kind of embarrassing. But I was trying to think of exercises I can do. My problem is like my workout clothes are, I know they're supposed to be comfortable, but mine aren't. Like they ride up my butt, the pants do. And like sports bras, like bras are horrible. But um, no, I got this. Uh, Hold on. I got an ab slider, which uh, I got that ab slider. It was like $4.99 at Goodwill. And uh, it just makes me laugh because it, it's kind of like, I think of it as like the equivalent of the shake weight, but for your abs, it's like an infomercial thing. But my mom's had one and it works. So yeah, I get up in the morning, crawl down from bed, uh, just drink my lemon water and then right away start doing some of those. Um, I try to have like my quiet meditation time, think about what I want to accomplish for the day, what would make this day a good day. Um... Yeah, go about my morning. I know I'm gonna head back to work for the next few days, you know. Think I'd make an appearance since I work part time and all. Um, uh, sorry, it's still cool. That's never not gonna be cool to me. I've never worked part time or I was I did when I did work part time I was still going to college full time, so I'm like, sweet. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a peek into my lifestyle when it comes to food. And I try to be as thrifty as I can while still buying the stuff I want. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, that helped out some of you or gave you some foodie ideas. But uh, yeah, everyone take care. Take it sleazy. I will talk to you later. Bye.